Hello, my name is Fernando Macedo. My name is Pedro Muniz. My name is Arthur Renato. My name is Chris States. What else do you want to know? <laughs> Sorry. You got to you gotta tell me, you know, little, leave me a little more on what you want. Maybe do it by questions and I'll respond to questions, okay? Tell us a bit about yourself. Like, where do you... You are a professor, right? Yes. Uh, from from what institution are, are you? I'm at the University of Louisville in the School of Medicine in the Department of Pharmacology and Toxicology. Um, I also direct a center uh, for integrated environmental health sciences. And I recently became vice dean for research. So oh, wearing a lot of hats these days. Could you tell us uh, what sort of stuff do you do you research, Dr. States? Okay, so most of my research is focused on the mechanisms of arsenic toxicology. Currently, are focused on arsenic-induced skin cancer. We have done work on arsenic-induced cardiovascular disease, and I've done a lot of research on DNA damage and repair. Um, and one thing I, I saw in your research was about microRNAs, right? Mm -hmm. um, we, we don't hear much about what, what's that microRNAs, right? Uh, could you maybe um, give us a rundown of what it is? Sure. So microRNAs are small RNAs. They're only about 22 nucleotides long and they are regulatory RNAs. So they regulate the translation of messenger RNAs. Messenger RNAs are the RNAs that encode proteins, right? Which is what makes up your body, right? And enzymes. And microRNAs regulate the translation of the mRNAs into the proteins. Oh, perfect. Um, so you... You would say that the dysregulations of this of those mi microRNAs could lead to health issues, right? Yes. So they're uh, essential regulators of secondary regulators of gene expression. Yes. Uh, which are which are the the health issues that you most research about that involve uh, the 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 dysregulation of microRNAs? Uh, as I said, we're currently focused on dysregulation of microRNAs in respect to arsenic-induced skin cancer. So arsenic is a class one human carcinogen. It's a natural contaminant of drinking water in many parts of the world. And uh, its major target organ is skin. And amongst the various diseases it causes is skin cancers. So we have Thank looked you. at the dysregulation of microRNA expression in relation to mRNA expression uh, to try to understand how the gene expression patterns change and can contribute to the carcinogenic process. Oh, that's that sounds amazing. But like, in which ways will these microRNAs help us treat or even just understand the, that skin cancer. So microRNAs are generally negative acting. So they suppress the translation of an mRNA. So there are gene classes called oncogenes and tumor suppressors, which are involved in either promoting or suppressing cancer, right? And the microRNAs that target the messenger RNAs for those factors uh, act in an opposite direction. So the oncogenic microRNAs, those that promote cancer formation, generally target tumor suppressor genes and push their translation down. Whereas tumor suppressor microRNAs generally target oncogenic mRNAs and suppress their translation. So you have to think in upside down ways when you think about microRNAs. Professor, yeah, I... 
Oh. It's a bit mind-boggling, <laughs> <Sorry>. yeah. Yes. <laughs> Professor. You got a question. Is there any known way for us to influence the regulation of microRNAs at the present time? Um, no defined ways. We're still learning about them. So microRNAs uh, come in two classes. So first off, they are excised from primary RNA transcripts by uh, enzyme complexes that are sp specific for the maturation of the microRNAs. And the primary RNAs that they are extracted from, excised from, uh, are transcribed by RNA polymerase II, which is also the RNA polymerase that transcribes messenger RNAs. So some microRNAs are in transcripts that only contain microRNAs. Some are embedded in the intronic regions of protein coding mRNAs, and they're excised out of the introns. So we are still learning about the regulation. Uh, the ones that are embedded in introns are regulated by the same factors that regulate the expression of the protein in their parent gene. And the ones that are in microRNA only genes, if you will, are regulated by other factors. And we haven't gotten that far along yet to tell you, yes, if you take eat this food, you'll stimulate the right microRNAs or not. This is a promising field, right? To if we understand more about how we can regulate those microRNAs, we could uh, discover a new some new treatments. Some some new therapeutic approaches, right? Probably, yeah. That's the hope. Is if we can, un I mean, that's the hope that underlies all the molecular biology that's done and doing research on a disease process is to understand the fundamental uh, molecular events that lead down the path towards disease or health, and then see ways that we might be able to modulate those events. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> what you what what are your your specific interests in, for future research? Current funding, which is what governs what you research, <laughs> oh, um, uh, in microRNAs, we saw that um, five microRNAs were dysregulated in squamous cell carcinomas induced by arsenic. These are samples from squamous cell carcinomas from people who are exposed to high levels of arsenic. So they're clearly arsenic induced. And those five microRNAs are also dysregulated in a similar fashion in human keratinocytes that we exposed in vitro to low levels of arsenic for uh, 28 weeks to transform them in vitro. So we are now going to embark on understanding how the dysregulation of these microRNAs are affecting uh, gene expression in the uh, in vitro systems that we work with. What our current working hypothesis is, is that all these effects lead to the generation of what are called fusion genes, which are the results of chromosomal translocations. And many of these fusion genes are actually oncogenic. Most of them the oncogenic ones fuse a constitutive gene, right? One that's expressed all the time, the control regions from that gene with a kinase, right? So a gene. So a gene that encodes a, an enzyme that puts phosphate groups on proteins to regulate their function. Many of them promote growth. So when that gets turned on all the time, you get oncogenesis, right? Constantly stimulating growth. Have you heard about targeted uh, therapy for cancers? Oh, right. So some of that, them, right? So many of them are what are called TKIs, tyrosine kinase inhibitors, right? So they inhibit kinases that put phosphate groups on tyrosines, and these are almost all fusion genes that are being um, right. So. That's our current working hypothesis, and we're trying to get all the data together to uh, lend credence to that hypothesis. So we are looking for fusion genes 
in the arsenic transform cells in vitro. And we're hoping to get some uh, DNA from arsenic-induced skin tumors to sequence those and find fusion genes in there and see if they've, they are known oncogenic fusion genes in other tumors. This arsenic poisoning, mm -hmm. it mostly, uh, would you say that mostly affects what kind of populations? What kind of populations? Well, yeah. there, it's worldwide problem. So arsenic is an element, right? Mm -hmm. And depending upon uh, the geology, there may or may not be arsenic in, in the rocks. And so if you're drawing drinking water from groundwater, it may be naturally contaminated with arsenic. Okay. Oh. That's the major source of exposure. And, and it's worldwide. There's over 220 million people who are currently stuck with drinking water that has arsenic in sufficient to cause disease. That okay. sounds that's about it. Thank you for for having us. Oh, well, thanks for contacting me. So let me know when you're gonna what you're going to do with this and where you post it or whatever you do. That'd be great to know. I have one more question. Sure. Would you like to say something to the new scientists in information that are watching us? The new scientists. Um, don't give up. <laughs> All right? it's, at at it's... times it may seem very difficult, yeah. but just hang in there. Um, the rewards are great. It's an important, it's important.